up guys? Uh, we're here at uh, Chris USA to go over the uh, new Vector. Now Michael has helped us in the past. You guys have probably seen uh, our videos on the Vector kind of since it launched years ago. Um, but man, they keep innovating with this thing. So tell us what's new for this year. Yeah, so what we have here is the uh, Vector CRB Enhanced. So we're going to have uh, the, in, in the calibers like 9mm or 45. Uh, so it's basic zero code and combat gray. Now the few extras that it has are this, is the uh, side Picatinny rail. It'll come with a vertical grip and a hand stop. And uh, of course it's Gen 2, so it has that uh, different trigger, um, multi-caliber uh, compatibility. So if you had a, uh, a lower assembly from, let's just say, a 45 and you have a nine millimeter, remove the three pins, switch it out. They all share the same common upper. So it's all compatible. So it's really quick to change calibers, you know, um, but the, something to keep in mind, it is the serialized part that the lower receiver, so it's still a firearm, but at least everything is enclosed inside the lower. So the mag well, the bolt assembly, the barrel, you know, it's all in here. So it's a really quick swap. Well, and I mean, you know, when we first shot that in 45, I was amazed how little recoil there is because of the bolt system you guys have. And then moving to a nine millimeter, I mean, it is absolutely nothing. It's, it's crazy. We were doing full auto and I was watching the, I was watching the splash in the dirt, expecting it to have a climb. Right. I actually leaned forward into it and had it going down. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was yeah. nuts. So, it's really controllable. I mean, you take a, you take a very controllable, uh, you know, 45 platform and, and you start running a nine through it and you got virtually no recoil at all and a whole lot of fun. is management this is like butter yeah. I mean, this is with the uh, SBR version I mean with the stock it just yeah. it takes all the punch out of it yeah, that's this crazy. is incredible man Cosmetic, you know, sometimes you just want to go on the range and look a little cooler, you yeah. know. So if you have an existing uh, vector carbine, you can always switch out that round shroud for the uh, for the enhanced shroud. Yeah. And so, you know, when we're touching upon the different calibers, you know, we have 945. What's come in um, this year is going to be 40 Smith, 357 Sig, and also ten, uh, 10 millimeter. Just in case you need to get in a gunfight with an elephant or something. Yeah, like exactly. That. <laughs> That's awesome. Man. Yeah. Very cool. Well, very forward thinking. And I love the fact that uh, you know you don't have to go buy a new one. Right. Take yeah. this thing, swap it out, yeah. you know, and uh, everything's everything's healthy. You don't yeah. have to go and buy a whole new gun. So exactly. very, very good on you guys. Yeah. So now I noticed that you guys have uh, different color combinations, yeah. right? So you have the storm gray, right? That's just big with this year. Um, you've got color which you guys launched last year, was it? Yeah, last year. Yeah. Okay. And now, uh, what are some of the other color configurations? We have. Uh, also OD, okay. and then we also have uh, Alpine White. So that's going to be for uh, uh, certain science fiction uh, yeah, Star fans. Star <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very so that's, cool. that's one option. And what's also new is going to be the arm brace version. Um, of course, you know we recommend people using it as it's intended, yeah. um, as, as a stabilizing brace. Yeah. And then um, so it'll be it'll be a standard uh, vector SDP configured with an arm brace and. Um, yeah, it's uh, pretty self-explanatory as, well, as far as what it's capable of doing to help you thing, shoot one-handed. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I mean, it does help you stabilize, and, and you know, uh, we were on the range of Tim uh, two days ago, and yeah, we were talking about punching out and holding it more like a pistol than, right. you know, like this, like an SBR minus the shoulder touching. Right. Uh, so we've got the Vector SDP. As you can see, there's no stock on it, um, but we do have a QD sling attachment point on the back. So you can put your sling on and really punch out with the gun. And can you throw a buffer tube on there? Um, 
if you have the right paperwork, you can do that. Yeah. Okay. So that's or, actually or do a SIG brace or a an arm stabilizing brace or something like that. Yeah. This is actually the route that most people take to do an SBR for their gun. Yeah. So you can have, you have three choices really. You have you can buy the SBR directly from us as long as you have all your paperwork and everything ready to go. You can buy the pistol from us and then add the stock on once you get your paperwork and everything set up. Or you can buy the carbine, cut the barrel, which is a little bit more invasive, and then get your paperwork taken care of and whatnot. So uh, this, 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 for this is the less invasive and the most affordable. What size barrel is the pistol come? Five and a half inch. And threaded? Threaded uh, half by 28, so it's just like an AR. Okay, got it. Half by 28. Yes. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, so this is our 9mm SDP. Now, there's two ways to shoot this gun, actually. A lot of people shoot it like this. I have found that it's easier to hold it like a regular pistol and just fire it that way. It just gets a little heavy. But you can see, like, with the recoil mitigation system with the Super V, it's actually really controllable. That's yeah. one thing I've really, really noticed about the Chris is, is that or the Vector series is. You know, the, the recoil mitigation system cuts all that down. Now, I haven't fired the 9mm yet, but the 45 is yeah. unbelievably manageable. Um, so that's pretty cool. But I think the really neat thing about that is that if you do go the SBR route with this and you want to do the tax stamp and the NFA deal, right, you can buy this, you can take it home, you can go play around with it and shoot it as it's intended, and then, you know, swap out the, uh, you know, stabilizing brace and put a stock on after you get your tax stamp back and, and go that route. So, exactly. And that's actually what we encourage people to do as well because if you're if you're in an NFA um, or an SBR friendly state you know it's it's the best way to go because then you yeah. can buy a vector you can shoot it and when it's time um, you know when your tax time everything clears yeah. you swap out the stuff. Well you know when we were based out of California we had the uh, 10 day purgatory you know you buy a gun and you had to wait 10 days regardless yep. so it, I mean I can only imagine stretching that out to six months or something like that with the NFA stamp so exactly. you know really really cool you get to take your toy home, play with it, have fun with it, get used to it, get some rounds down range, yep. and then when your stamp does come in, you know, go ahead and pop that off and throw on the video. Yep. So really, really cool configuration there, yep. man. <laughs> Good deal. Well, hey, thanks for going over uh, all the new features on the Chris and uh, the Vector series. We really like it. If you guys haven't had a chance to fire one, get your hands on them. These things are incredible, especially in the night. I mean, virtually no recoil. So thanks so much, Mike. No problem. We really appreciate it.